Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Okay, I just want to do a quickie video before I got too far on this. I didn't intend to start building. I meant to stream this all, but... Uh, so this is where I was going to put the iron farm. And I had the thought of, instead of building it up elevated, like up in the sky, if I just put it in the ground. So I'll put my villagers here. Zombie here, scare the villagers. Iron golds will spawn in this area here. And then they'll see the zombie and go, oh, let me get him. And then they'll get pushed by these water things down and fall down here. And then I will put in hoppers and lava blade and all that good stuff. And, and then I want to route the drops over here. And this is this chest. Hey, cooperate. Um, this is where I want to be able to pick up the drops. So I want to get a water stream that comes up here, probably right where this is. Um, and come on up. Getting a visit from Pee Wee. Come here, come here. Come on up. I got it. I got a treat for you. Uh, so then this will come up here and it'll it'll throw anything down. So, oh, hello. Come on up. There you go. Hey, I got an idea. Did you lose something? I think you did. Oh, I know you got this off earlier. Make it just a little bit bigger for you. <laughs> it's not a toy. Not a toy. Just a little bit bigger there. There we go. Let me do this. <laughs> Not a toy. Oh my gosh. Hello. Yeah, there you go. That's there. That's good, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so sorry about that. So this will be they fall down. I'm gonna put hoppers down here. Do I have hoppers in my pocket? No, I do not. So let's go over here. I've got I've got hoppers of oops hoppers right here. Got a bunch of hoppers. I'm probably gonna have to make more. And while we're doing this, let me refill my bucket because I always get nervous when I have an empty bucket. Um, oh, and these I made I put little stairs in here, kind of facing that way, and then I put a block behind here, and then waterlog the stair, and then put a thing of water here, and it, it flows down into the waterlogged stair and it doesn't go any further. It's actually pretty cool. Um, I also saw this on Doc M 77s uh, Hermitcraft video and apparently this is a Nembom design, basically. So that's uh, where the credit for this comes from. Oops, ow. Um, and let me go pull that down. So what I wanna do is I wanna run my hopper line along here. I'm definitely gonna have to make more hoppers. That's okay, I have more hoppers to make. So let me put a block here just to, just to make it work. And this should all work. Uh, let's put this, down here and then I need to put signs up here and then I'm going to put lava up here but that'll be like the last thing because goodness knows I do not want to be down here when the lava gets down here so uh, so this is going to be a hopper line up, up. I need more I need one two three four five six ish let me use this too as my escape word I use this to get in and out of here for the time being. Okay, that'll work. So that will be the, the golems will fall down there. That gets them like eight blocks down below here, eight or 10, something like that. And then 
The village will be a few blocks up above this, so that should get them far enough away to allow for another golem to spawn. And then, right, I have other stuff here. Oh, and I, I, I dug out the thing because I wanted to make this like a, a, a its own chunk because the golems can spawn pretty much anywhere in a 16 by 16 area. So I figured that will work. So over here, I filled in stuff a little bit, but this is the the skeleton spawner, which I still need to figure out what to do with. I think I want to turn this into an automated like cramming, uh, entity cramming, killing farm. So I'll just take out this area, push them into a, a little corner over here and have it kill them. Just they die when they die. I put down mine carts and put down a bunch of mine carts so they they fall into a mine cart and they, and they die instantly and then they drop their bones and stuff. Uh, so I wanted to, so I dug this out a little bit. I may go and expand the entire room by these blocks, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but this will be the functional thing of the farm. And then I wanted the pickup to be up here. I didn't want to have to go down there to get the iron and the poppies. So, actually, you know what I can do? I can, because I have this... I can actually block this off. And make that all its own thing. And now this is just my little service area. My goal is to put in, I'm gonna bring over here the, the hopper line, put it into a dropper, and then put a water column, probably right here. And it'll now, the water column needs to be back here. So I'm probably going to have to take this out another a block or two. Let me do two just to be safe. So that should be enough room. I don't need it to be too huge. But the hopper column will come here, and then I'll put a dropper. Let's figure this out. Probably put the dropper here facing here. This is probably where the water column will be which means I need to move my thing, but I need to make some more hoppers and actually let's just do this. They're tall enough now, a couple more. Is this high enough? There we go. Okay, that's our way in and out. We get down and pick up these. Okay, so I think this is where the water column is going to go. Okay, so let's go back up. And if I can get the collection system set up and working, then I will do a separate separate recording or stream getting the villagers in here because that's going to be fun and then um yeah this isn't exactly going to work but okay we'll figure it out let's build our bubble column for that i need some soul sand I have some here. I only need one. And I need... I don't need to do it with glass. I can do it with brick because I don't... I don't have that much glass. This is left over from the villager breeder. I need a comparator. I need a dropper. I need... Um, sticky piston some of this stuff away dug up some uh, ores and whatnot just taking around here that I don't I don't need all of this stuff uh, observers I need ice so let's go back over down there Oh, 
Oh. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know you could do that with scaffolding. I guess that makes sense. So you can make a floor out of that stuff. All right. So if this is where the bubble column goes and I put some soil sand right there on the floor and I put dropper Put a dropper right here. Do I do this right here? I need a little bit more space. Okay, a little bit more space. And I'm going to fill a lot of this back in. I don't need a ton of space here. So I need, let's put, put a piston right here, put a sticky piston right here, facing up. And that will then, I've got, an, I've got observers here with the observer like this. No, wrong way. Um, A bit more working space. And let's see here. No, they're in the wrong place. I think I never built this before or something. Okay, sticky piston goes here. Sticky piston. And then observer, where's my observers? Server goes here. Like, no. Server's facing that way. Excellent. So then we put. server goes that way okay so then I take my comparator I put it on the floor so it's going to pick up the contents of this dropper so if I grab even just a couple like that it'll push him up and then if I grab another observer Ah, excellent. Okay, so that's my hopper clock. And I don't need this space back here anymore. All right. Very compact. It'll click, but it's going to be several blocks away. So same situation if I put that in there. There we go. Excellent. So then this needs to be my water elevator. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put ice down here. And I'm going to put more of my bricks right here. And we could just build this out of stone brick. Right? And we can put ice and break it. Put ice and break it. And so we will end up with source blocks all the way up, which is what we need. And you see they're bubbling. And I already see a problem here. Oops. Wasted that block of ice. But I've got an ice farm, so it's okay. Block and block and ice. Block, 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 break the ice. 
Break the ice. There we go. And bubbles. Excellent. And ice. Oops. Okay, so here we go. So now I want to be able to get back down back here. Um, I'm going to have to find a workaround for how to get around down here. Well, let's, let's put in some, put in my scaffolding right here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a torch right back here for the time being. And if I go and put some stuff into the hopper down here, or the the dropper. So if I go throw oh now I should have four stone brick blocks floating. Uh oh. Hang on a second. Okay. The only stone bricks I have in my inventory. Thirty-three. Thirty-three in, thirty-three out. Excellent. So now the trick is to make a little thing here. Oh. So now I want the water to flow up this way into a hopper on the back of the chest. I think I put the hoppers away. I need more hoppers. Okay. That's fine. So let me go do that. Let me put a hopper here and then I'll put this water up here and then I'll put a block water up on top. That will flow the water over the hopper and onto the chest. And then I need to find another uh, way to get back down there to clean things up. Let's go make some hoppers. Wait, I have a bunch of chests here. I have a bunch of chests. How many do I need? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, it's my best way here. I can leave this back here. I don't need to, I don't need to fill this. But okay, there we go. So that gives me a way back up and down. And I can leave these scaffolds here. I don't need. Design flaw. Okay. It's okay. Not a problem. So I need to put water. Let me put bricks here. Oh, I know. I don't have. Okay. 
count squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten or so hoppers ought to do it. And then I need to dig an extra route around this water mess. But let's go make another ten or twelve hoppers. And go get them installed. And then I can just throw stuff down the, the drop shaft and test that they get up into the chest, okay. Okay, so. So what I wanna do is I wanna dig a, a route around here. Water's gonna flow in, of course. We can then place blocks up here like this. That, and that should block off the water. Okay. And then that lets me get around, and then I can place the comparator back down. Right like that. It should be facing the right way. And if I throw my 33 stone here, excellent. Okay, so now, oh, ah, uh, 33 stone. Okay, now. What we do is we take, oh, come on. One of the hoppers that we just made, and we place it in here, like that. And then we put block of ice here, break it. That becomes top of the bubble vader, and then this here goes like that. And then flows all over the place and screws everything up. Oh, good gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's a good lesson in what not to do. Okay, so now I'm going to take, um, what block do I put here? I can put no, I can't put that block. I can put it temporarily. I can remove this. Because I need to be able to open the chest. Did this create water source blocks everywhere? Is that what happened? Looks like it. Okay, what happened here? Whew. Okay, so. Get to set these up again. But that's okay. And that's all good down there. Okay, do I still have stairs over here or do I need to go make some? No, I do not. Let's go get some more stairs. I believe I have some upstairs. If not, they're easy to make. Okay, so temporarily, 
block this off and then I can remove this. And then, let's see, how do I do this? The stair, oh, yep, it got in there, good. So I put the stairs down here and I put the stairs, can I just put them upside down here? And this is still open, yes, that is what we want. Okay, and that means we put a block here, take this out, and that'll now flow over. And we could still open that and retrieve our stone brick. Okay. That means we want some sort of a ladder or something here so I can get up there. But I can place a stone brick block down just for the time being. And we'll just block that off when I get done. Okay. So now we need to do this. And I am going to have to make more hoppers, I think. So hopper. Hopper. Hopper, hopper, hopper. Now it's a straight shot, but I only have six left. Oh, <gasps> exactly enough. Beautiful. And I should, whoa, whoa, the heck was that? Let's go see what that was. Something got up there and miscellaneous stuff. Now the cool thing is I should be able to take a stack of something, say 31 stone, throw it down here and it should eventually make its way into the chest. Or back in my inventory. Thirty-one stone. Let's try that again. And none of them should come out of my inventory. None of them should end go into my inventory. Even if I'm standing right here. Ah, uh, they're leaking out. Interesting. Oh, they're all making it. That's the important thing. And this is going to be a noisy farm anyway, so. Our golems dying and all that. Okay. All 31 made it. Let's go here. Now it's more like, now it's 36. And even if I go up here, it shouldn't leak out, right? Thirty-six. Excellent. Okay. So now the next question is how do I get how do I do this? Um signs and lava. Okay, so I can, I think, just place ice here. Those torches will melt it and it will become what I want. Oh, 
like that. Perfect. Okay. So what do I do here? Do I dig down in the corner? Ah. <sighs> So I need to place, I'm going to place a torch up there. I hopefully we'll do that. And I need to place signs at this level. Then I need to get out of here. Okay. Okay, that's my way in and out down here. And then I place block here. Can I reach that now? No. Okay. Okay, so now I can place my lava. And lava's right here. This is scary. It's loud on top of this sign, and it should spread out across all of them. I'm going to lose all these, but that's okay. So now, just to be safe. I should probably go get some fences and put it around the perimeter here to keep me from walking in and falling down there. But, I mean, I know what the danger, I know what's there. Okay. All right, so, and then I can go clean up down here. Uh, I can just grab this. I can always access that again if I need to. Okay, that'll be the last cleanup bit. Okay, iron golems fall down there. They get burned to death, and their drops fall into the hopper chain and up end up in this chest here. That should be all I need. Other than getting villagers in place and um, zombie. Whew. 
Okay. So that was the that was the easy part, right? 